I'm Dr. Vishnu Swaroop Reddy. I'm the head of the department and chief consultant ENT surgeon at Care Hospital Banjara Hills. Uh, recently, we did a life-saving nasal endoscopic uh, surgery to repair bilateral coronal congenital atresia. Um, in this condition, both the nostrils of the baby, actually it was a premature baby, born at 33 weeks, and uh, both the nostrils were behind the nose were blocked by a bone, that is a developmental problem. Nose passage canalization has not happened. Uh, this kind of babies, uh, immediately if you don't uh, diagnose, they die. So immediate diagnosis is very, very important. And uh, immediately, whoever is uh, delivering the baby uh, uh, has to put some oral airway in the mouth because infants are obligate nose breathers. They try to breathe through nose and they become blue and they can die. So immediately you have to put the oral airway and transfer the baby to a higher center where you have facilities for uh, intubation and ventilation. And after that, once the baby is stabilized and uh, we planned for this um, repair, it was actually um, transferred from a nice hospital, children's hospital, to care hospital, Banjara Hills. Um, this was done four weeks ago, and we um, uh, we took over the baby and did an endoscopic uh, repair using nasal endoscopes and a skeeter drill one using one millimeter diamond drill uh, has been used to make the passage passage breathing passage to uh, to establish the breathing passage. This, using this Keter drill for one millimeter diamond drill and endoscopic procedure is reported first time in the world. It has not been reported, which I have checked. So th this is how we would like to share this information to all of you. And the baby, after repair, has been put on some stents in the nose. The stents will be kept for six weeks. And uh, after six weeks, the stents will be removed. Immediately after the first day of surgery, um, the baby was breathing normally through the nose and she was disconnected from the ventilator. Uh, now it's about four weeks, baby is doing fine and we are planning to remove the stents in about six weeks time. And in this connection, I would like to give a message to the public and for uh, those healthcare professionals involved in uh, maternity and child healthcare deliveries that um, in this kind of emergencies, the diagnosis should be immediate and then we should put an oral airway which is the cheapest thing and it can be available anywhere and it should be available in every setup where they conduct labors and uh, immediately it should be put in the mouth and save the baby and transfer the baby to uh, a bigger hospital where you have facilities for um, ventilation and then you have to plan for the surgical repair. So the main um, intention of um, this presentation is to have a have oral airway in hand. Every delivery setup should have this, which is life-saving procedure, uh, which is life-saving measure to start with to save the baby. And then we had to plan this life-saving surgery. And uh, in this connection, um, the parents also cooperated very well. They have participated here. And because we are going to give a message to the world, um, taking an example of this lady, this this uh, little child, uh, premature baby born. And, um, you know, there is a treatment for this condition and it has to be done immediately. Uh, that is the message. So now it is four weeks after the operation was done. Uh, the baby was born at 33 weeks, uh, 33 weeks born baby. And uh, after one week, we, you know, once the lung maturity had taken place, then we performed this uh, surgery and repaired the nasal passages. And immediately, the very next day after the surgery, the baby started breathing through the nose and the baby is doing well. Now it is about four weeks post-operatively. Nice hospital. The nice hospital doctors, the neonatologists, uh, two of the neonatologists, neonatologists have uh, spoken to me. That's how they referred uh, this baby to us, premature baby, and asking for our help. Um, so in that connection, uh, we, me and my team of doctors, about uh, five, six people, and other uh, anesthetists and uh, nursing staff, uh, maybe 10 people were involved and uh, finally we could uh, do a successful surgery and save the baby and this particular baby is a precious baby and two previous uh, you know births I think mother lost the babies 
and that's why uh, we are very happy to share this information the parents are also very happy